I'm not good at whistling. Hey, is it just me? Or does that tree look like legs in a crack? Like somebody totally got stuck upside down. Lines in the photograph that, that lead your eye to the subject. This is something that will draw attention to your subject and make them pop in the photograph. Sarah's terrified of things like grates and railroad tracks like this. That's why I like to send her down there. Farther. Go to that side, please. That's funny. Back, step. Step back one spot. There you go. Anything else you want me to do? <laughs> All right. Find your leading lines. I'm using railroad tracks right now to show you guys so that you can see the distinction in the lines. But you can find leading lines anywhere. Now it's Rev's turn to be my model. Now, I've always loved taking pictures. We've talked about that before. And one of the things that I have recently, in the last couple of years, learned how to do is put my camera places that I didn't think that I should be able to do that before. I'm gonna bring the camera down really low and you can see all of this foreground and it really helps to bring a lot of depth into the picture. That is something that I didn't realize before that I could do so I can put it on the track like this and then I can get these amazing and epic shots and you know I can turn the camera all around. Really beneficial to have this screen on the camera. See this screen right here on the camera so that you can look at what you're doing. Uh, I have been known to lay flat down on the ground before. Uh, I actually came home with burrs all over me the other day from a shoot because I was laying down in the woods with a sweater on. What I used to do is I would just stand up straight like this and I would take the shot. And it just doesn't have as much depth to the photo at all. And we'll show you in some examples of a senior photo shoot that we did. And it was really fun to be able to shoot on these tracks. This is one of my favorite spots to shoot.